Back in the workbench, I updated the mesh, and now it's onto the physics part. So we open up the setup, load the new mesh, double precision, serial processing. If you do get a few errors, I would recommend going back to the workbench and right-clicking setup and reset uh, just in case there's any errors that have propagated through and that should fix them all. So general is fine to keep the same, so is models. In materials, you want to go and create edit and set the density to 1, viscosity to 0 0.05 to get the correct Reynolds number, and that's done. If you did change it, click change and create, and then close. The main thing that we want to change is the boundary conditions though, because you can see we have all these new um, boundary conditions at the cylinder wall. And if we only want to display certain of the cylinder walls to make sure that we have them, we can zoom in and go to display mesh, and then deselect them all, and then just choose the ones that we want to display display, it'll just show those two. So you can pick which ones you want to display uh, from this panel. The thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change just a few of the boundary conditions. So the first cylinder wall, so the first cylinder wall I'm going to edit, it's not going to be a wall, it's going to be a velocity inlet, yes, and then the magnitude is going to be 0 0.4, which is going to be normal to the um, normal to the boundary. Then I'm going to do the same for uh, number 20. And then 3 and 18, I'm going to have them be velocity inlets. So I'm going to put their velocity magnitude as negative 0.4. The only other things that I can change uh, between this and the regular cylinder are um, if I go into monitors, I'm going to want to have everything at 1 times 10 to negative 6, that's fine. And then I'm also going to probably want to print the lift coefficients on whichever cylinder wall you want to um, integrate over if you want to do comparison afterwards. And then in solution installation, you want to initialize from far field 1, which is the far field on the left. Right. And then we can just run the calculation if, as if there were just jets. But we're going to need to add in the user defined function part to actually be able to integrate CL over the jets as well. Because you can see if you go to monitors, and to the CL, we don't have 3, 18, 0, or 20, so we can't actually integrate for a lift over those wall zones. So that's the physics setup, and the next part is the user-defined setup.